Investigators say the fire that destroyed country singer Trace Atkins' Tennessee home was an accident. A babysitter was in the home with Atkins' daughters and friends of theirs when she heard a bang and then saw flames. I could just see it and I just went into like total panic mode. I didn't think about anything really but the girls. The fire broke out around 3.30 Saturday afternoon in Brentwood, south of Nashville. We had heavy fire in the attic upon our arrival, ran the full length of the house, and now we've got heavy damage to, to the attic and the second floor area. It took firefighters several hours to battle the flames in the 5,000 square foot home. Atkins' wife Rhonda stood with neighbors watching her home burn. It doesn't even feel real. You know, that's where I am right now. I'm just kind of like, that's not my house, that's someone else's house. She credits a fire safety plan with keeping everyone safe. What did we do with the yellow ribbon, huh? We put it around a tree. And that's where you guys ran to, right? Yeah, I left it up there for about two weeks, and Trace was like, are you ever taking the ribbon down? But thank goodness I left it a long time because all of them knew exactly where to run. And I really believe that's what saved them because it went up in like three, four minutes. Adkins himself was on his way to Alaska for a performance, but returned to Tennessee over the weekend. At the end of the day, I just lost a bunch of stuff. The most precious things, my family, are all safe. According to WKRN-TV, officials determined that an overheated or loose connection in a power strip started the fire. Matt Friedman, the Associated Press.